something. Let me know, I'll just cover it. Wait, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? That's how you move a, a shirt off your shoulders, girls. <laughs> Lord help me. Hey guys, I'm here to do my September favorites. I got a lot for you guys, or I feel like I have a lot. Maybe I don't, but I feel like I do. I don't know. Anyhow, my first favorite of the month definitely was my trip to Europe. Went to London with my, I was gonna say boyfriend, my fiance. Um, just the London part was on tour with him and then we decided to go to Italy and I've never been to Italy. London I've been to, which London's one of my favorite places on earth. I could easily live in London. It's so much fun. If you guys don't follow me on social media, you really should because I snapped the whole thing and I had so many people saying, oh my gosh, thank you so much for all of this because a lot of people really loved it. So if you don't follow me on Snapchat, I'll like put it here. All my links are always down below, but it's amazing. And then after that, we went to Italy. We went to Venice, Florence, and Rome. I did vlog and I just vlogged half on my phone and half on my camera. And so I'm gonna have to piece it all together, but I definitely do want to put it all together and post it um, anyhow. My Hidden Crown hair extensions, I have them in right now. I brought three sets with me. The one that I'm wearing right now, my 22 inch, and then a backup just in case. <laughs> it literally, they're my girls. Like literally they go with me everywhere. I have a whole video about these hair extensions. I will post a link here in one of those little cards. Look at that tanner on my finger. Or I'll always have it posted down below because I get questions daily on social media as well as my videos. Do you wear hair extensions? And if you do, what kind do you wear? So I feel like I almost always have to mention them because it's a question I get asked daily and I've made that video. So I'm trying to just constantly remind us I wear hidden crown hair extensions. They're the only hair extensions that I wear and that I will wear. And they went with me to Europe and I wore them on and off the plane. I put them on and off the tour bus. Check them out. Link will be down below. Next is this eyeshadow palette. I have it on right now. I have been so obsessed with this eyeshadow palette. I'm wearing this palette almost every single day. Um, it is by Studio Makeup. It's the On The Go eyeshadow palette. They're just, they scream fall. They the colors are so beautiful. It is the, I don't know if it's called anything besides the on the go. That's just what it's called. And they are gorgeous. I have been wearing them, like I said, every single day. I put this color here. It's all over my entire line. One is in the crease and this one is in the crease. This one is in the outer V blended in as well as these two together. This one here highlights my brow bone. And this one I have highlighting my cheek. Anyhow, I'm obsessed with this. I love it. Ignore my nails. They're really really, really ratchet. <laughs> I need to get my little fakers back on, but I'm waiting till I go to New York. I leave for New York next week and I'm in New York for two weeks. I'm going to try and vlog it. I'm doing my best. You guys follow me on social media. You'll see a lot there too. Anyhow, I'm obsessed with this palette. I've been wearing it every single day. Like I said, I have it on right now. And guess what y'all? Got it in my box of charm, y'all. I told you guys, almost everything <laughs> that ends up in a favorites is from Boxy Charm. This was in my September Boxy Charm, I believe so. And I will put a picture here of everything that came in my Boxy Charm. I freaking love Boxy Charm. I've told you guys about this a million times. Link will be down below if you guys want to sign up. Another product I have been loving is this Jouer Kitten Liner. It's paraben free, long wear. I know in my last video I featured gel liner. I'm still loving gel liner. I've been rocking it and loving it, but that's if I have time. <laughs> I'm noticing with the gel liner, I need more time to apply it. So if I'm going to have time, I will definitely use gel liner. But if I'm in, I'm like, girl, you need to hurry and get done. The point is amazing on this. If you can see right there. <sighs> yes, girl. This NYX Sculpt and Highlight Brow Contour Liner. When I was in Europe, I took a couple brow pencils with me because you just never, never know. I just happen to have medium beige as well because I just never knew if I needed the taupe. Was it taupe I used or blonde? 
Now I don't even remember. But anyhow, it's the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Brow Pencil. On one side, you have a little concealer, so you can sculpt underneath the brows to really define them and to shape them and so on, so you can get right up in there. And then on the other side, you have the brow pencil. I brought it with me to Europe and I used it every single day, literally up until the last, the last two days. There's a funny story. If you guys followed me on Snapchat, you know all this while I was in Italy, but in the morning times, I, I get up really early. The jet lag was real while I was there the entire time. My sleeping pattern was so off. I would wake up every single day at like 4 a.m. and just lay there wide awake. And then I would just get up, go in the bathroom and just get ready so my fiance could sleep. Um, but anyhow, and so I bring all my makeup in the bathroom and get ready in there. One day I was rolling this up and putting it on, and as I did that, the little pencil thingy thingy fell into the toilet. I sure as heck wasn't going to dig it out, but I really loved this thing, and I use it every day, and I thought it really made my brows look good, so there you go. These two brushes, this one is a Real Techniques 203 shader brush. I don't know if it's a limited edition, but... I friggin' love this thing. I have been using it and just right up in that crease and shading it out. It's like the most beautiful thing ever. And then also this Real Techniques shaping shading brush. And I think this is a blending brush. They're 203 blending brush. And then this is the Real Techniques shading brush. And this one I have been using just right in the corner. Like, do you see where it's darkened right up in here? That's what I use this one for. And then this one, the shading or the blending, I use all in the crease and then just kind of to blend that outer up into veil, if that makes sense. But these two brushes I've been loving and using a lot. I mean, you guys know I talk about real techniques all the time. These are amazing. Lastly, for like the eye situation, um, I think in my last favorites video, I talked about the simple face wipe and I still use them. I literally right before Europe went and bought another pack. I love it. I don't even want to say anything so I don't want to jinx it. I'll get back to you in like a month <laughs> and let you know about something else. Um, this simple sensitive skin experts dual effect eye makeup remover. And Simple, if you don't know Simple's brand, it has no harsh chemicals, no par no perfumes, no dyes. Um, anyhow, this was sent to me in like a PR package. That's how I initially even started using Simple is they sent a little sample to me and then I bought in like four packs of their wipe scents. Anyhow, this was in the package sent to me and it's their eye makeup remover. I just wanted to be more gentle with my under eye area because I would normally just use like wipes to just like clean off from underneath my eyes at night and really loving it. It's not irritated my under eye area. It's not broken me out because I've actually used some actually Clinique um, that's caused like me to have little redness and irritation under my eyes and this doesn't bother me at all. Um, what I have on my lips right now and what I was actually wearing in a Snapchat. I had a lot of people snap me. I was on a rant one night. I probably had seven snaps, people asking me what I was wearing on my lips, and I'm actually wearing it again right now. I've been wearing this combo a lot, and it's actually quite the combo. <laughs> um, I don't always include the last bit, but I always have been wearing these. And it is Gerard Cosmetics. And so my lips in with Bel Air. And then, not all the way, but just, you know, to about here. And then I put the skinny dip all over my lips. Then I take the nude and I barely just kind of tap it right in this area, like barely tap. And then I take my finger and I just kind of tap it all out. And that's what I've been doing lately. That's what you saw in my other posts. And that's what I have been doing. Well, lately well as what I have on right now is I had been adding NYX matte lipstick in the color NYX shy timid right there is what I just barely tap right in the middle right there and then I just like I tap it out so that's just what's kind of just set right there in the middle and Gerard Bel Air lip liner is right here and ignore the ratchetness of my nails what goes down first is skinny dip 
and that's right there obviously that's wet and then it dries and then over that just slightly just right in here nude and so there's nude so literally lip liner this goes all over the lips that just goes slightly kind of in the middle and I tap it out which I need to tap this out too and then lately I've been adding NYX Shy Timid to just kind of that's what I currently are right now okay so I have been obsessed with this lip combo and wearing it a lot another lip product I have been loving and wearing a lot is Ofra's long-lasting liquid lipstick in Laguna Beach liquid li long-lasting liquid lipstick so that's Laguna Beach all these colors are so perfect for fall and probably some of these could easily be dupes for Kylie's just saying I don't know if they are cuz I don't own any Kylie's but they probably easily could these sunglasses um, if you guys follow me on anything you'll have seen me wearing these my girlfriend started her own sunglass line and her stuff is so freaking cute and I've been wearing this pair especially a lot it's called Ada Eyewear. Insert pictures here of me wearing that. So freaking cute. The quality is amazing. I'll put a link to her um, sunnies and everything down below. And like I said, I'll have inserted pictures. I'm going to insert a picture here. Because <laughs> every single time I try lifting the box to show you guys, it completely distorts the light in the room. So these, this cereal from Trader Joe's, these pumpkin O's have been my crack. They're gluten-free, vegan, and amazing. I mean, I don't think they're the healthiest like cereal to eat every day, but oh my God, are they good. It just, they're seriously, they just give you that pumpkin-y goodness. <sighs> I'm telling you, you, if you like pumpkin and you're looking for a vegan cereal or a gluten-free cereal, yes, girl. I have to mention a YouTuber that I have literally fallen in love with. Her name is Caitlin Debro, and if you're not subscribed to her already, I will put her link down below. You definitely need to go subscribe to her. This girl is not only beautiful on the outside, but she is on the inside as well. Her story is so touching and so amazing and so inspiring. She doesn't know I exist. She has no idea who I am, but this girl has touched me and inspired me in so many ways. It's not even funny. I don't even know how I stumbled onto her YouTube channel, but I just did one day. And she, like I said, is just a beautiful human being. And she has suffered and gone through so much. In her. And she does amazing tutorials. Girl does her makeup amazingly. And guess what? She has no arms. She has prosthetics that she uses to do her makeup, and girlfriend can do her makeup better than me. <laughs> no joke. She can rock a wing way better than I can, and she uses prosthetics. And this girl, like I said, is just so inspiring to me in so many ways. I can't even tell you. I... There would be days where, I mean, you guys know that I myself struggle with body issues and body dysmorphia and stupid things, stupid things that are so dumb. And I remember stumbling onto her video one day and just thinking, who, what, what are you complaining about? The stuff that this girl has had to endure and go through and suffer and she's this beautiful, inspiring, positive person. And it just was like such a wake up call for me. It just made me like, it was like a slap in the face. Like, stop it. Stop it. Just stop it. I mean, this girl, like I said, I feel like she was, she was just like a blessing in disguise, honestly, to have come across her and her channel. And I love her videos. I love watching her. She vlogs. And like I said, she does tutorials. I love her tutorials. She does makeup amazingly. Like I said, girl can rock a winged liner like nobody's business. <laughs> and she's awesome. So if you're not subscribed to her already, go check her out. I will put her link down below. I will put all her socials down below as well. Tell her I sent you. She has no idea I exist. <laughs> but tell her I sent you and tell her 
that I said hello. Um, but like I said, she's just very inspiring to me and I love her. I love her sense of humor. She's just an amazing human being and she's just a YouTuber that I had to mention because I have. she's just been a favorite of mine. I've been loving to watch her videos and like I said, watch her tutorials and I've learned things from her techniques and she puts her makeup on with prosthetics and it just amazes me that the things that we are so petty to complain about in life and she's 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 working it and she has been through so much and she's just she's just so inspiring so anyhow Caitlin Debro if you have stumbled onto this video I love you girl and I think you are an amazing human being and you're beautiful inside and out and I just love you so anyhow guys that is it like I said it was a big favorites video I was gonna have a no-no that I was gonna show and then I'm like mm, let me give that product a little bit more time and then I'll let you guys know if there's going to be a no-no or not anyhow um yeah I'm back from Europe and here I am and what am I doing I'm rambling it's just good to sit and talk to you guys again like you know anyhow please be kind to each other always please just spread love and positivity and that's all I gotta say I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in another video soon bye